Hey guys, it's Gabby, and I haven't done one of these explanation videos, story times in quite some time. You know, with everything going on in the world, I decided this is the perfect time to catch you guys up on my life, things that I've gone through, stories that I've never told before. And trust me when I say there's so much stuff you guys don't know about me or things that have happened in my life behind the scenes that you guys are gonna start to learn. But I decided I'm gonna start like this story time series on my channel and we're gonna hit it off with a bang because this story is so worth hearing. I don't know how I did not manage to talk about this on my channel, maybe out of respect to the girl that's involved, but we have now become friends and I love her, she's very sweet. And she doesn't care that I make this video. I'm not gonna use the name of that guy, my ex, in this video. But those of you who have been around for quite some time know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm not bringing him up because I'm not over him. I'm bringing him up because this is like a time where I get to finally let you guys back into my life and tell you stories that I just have never been able to tell you. Honestly, he should have been more careful when looking for girls because I'm sure he knew eventually down the road he would have been caught. So I don't feel sorry for him. I mean, he wasted five years of my life. About five years ago, it ended. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about this little situation that I have never talked about on this channel. So, once upon a time, a year ago, I decided to go to the Sweetener World Tour. So I went to the Sweetener World Tour a year ago. I went to the show three times. The first time I went, I went as like any other person who would buy a ticket online. I went to Will Call, I walked through the stadium, I went to go look for my seats, and the rest of the Sweetener Tour shows, as you guys saw on my Instagram story, I was backstage. In that arena area, I had a decently big meet and greet with a lot of fancy babies. You don't expect to hear this, when you meet a lovely young girl. So while I was meeting a bunch of fancy babies, I met a very lovely girl named Sasha. Sasha is a 20 year old girl who I think was maybe 19 at the time. This was a year ago, she's 20 now. While we're taking a picture together, we actually can't find that picture, but I'll insert this video clip that she took. You see her head swing and then that's her friend's face on the other side of me. So I'm just gonna have the video on loop because it's a very quick video. While we're taking a picture together, she tells me, and I was not like expecting to hear this. She goes, you were right about your ex-boyfriend, screwed me over too. And I'm like, wait, what? You don't expect to hear that when you're meeting subscribers. When I first met her, the first thought that came to my mind when I was looking at her after she told me what she said was, wow, she looks like old me. She looks like me before I got my nose done and the lip injections and the veneers, like the dark hair and the same like look that I used to have. And so the dots kind of connected. So it's creepy. He went for like the same young girl. She's like the age that I was when I left him. And she looks the exact same that I looked when I dated him, insert pictures here. So I turned to her and I go, what do you mean? And she goes, yes, I did start seeing your ex. We found each other on Instagram. He started liking all of my pictures. We started talking and that's how it began. And he would drive up two hours away. She lives two hours away from him. He would drive up every weekend to go see her. And I'm like, no way. So I got a video of her explaining the story so I could send it to Colin because Colin and I like, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw the video where Colin literally got a pinata that looks like my ex-boyfriend. Him and I like strongly dislike him. We have this strong dislike for him together. I, I sent him the video of what Sasha said and Colin was like, no way. Because guess what? This isn't the first fan of mine that he has seen. So we're going to call my ex Bryce, okay? So Bryce in the past has dated my other fans. And it's weird how the other story lines up. This was like four years ago. We'll name her Mandy. My ex, when we were exes, Bryce came to me and was like, oh, I'm dating this girl. Can I have some advice? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he goes, she wants to see me as nothing serious, but I'm like really into her. Like, how do I get her to want to see me seriously? And I'm like, come on, Bryce. We're not on that level yet. I mean, we're exes. But anyways, I tried to do some digging for him because the person I am, I, I wanted to help him. Clicked on her messages just out of curiosity. And she has DM'd me so many times about how she's a big fan. She even got the La Beyond Rose tattoo that I have. I have a tattoo right here, La Beyond Rose. She even sent me a picture of her La Beyond Rose tattoo tattoo she got on her foot. There's nothing wrong with that, but she was saying that she got it because she's so inspired by me. And then I was like, yo, Bryce, she's a subscriber of mine, did you know? And he goes, no, I had no idea. I was like, well, did you know about her tattoo? And he goes, oh, I didn't even put the dots together because you have the same tattoo. I'm like, 
But it was the same kind of story because he also traveled two hours to go see her. And she was also very young. Mind you, my ex-boyfriend is three years older than me. When I was 15, he was 18 when we dated. So that makes him, let's see. When I met Sasha at the Ariana Grande concert, I was 23. So that means he was 26. She was 19, 19. Mandy was also young. She was underage and he was like, what, 22 at that time? We see that there's this creepy obsession of him going to my fans to date much younger. Back to Sasha's story. We were in the limo on the way home and I'm looking through our DMs because that's what I did with the other girl. I wanted to see like, how, how long has she been a subscriber for? And the first message I open up to, just wanted to let you know, I was just talking with Bryce tonight and been talking for the past couple of weeks and I've seen all your YouTube videos about your past relationship and everything and just wanted to let you know, you were completely right. I ended up finding out he's talking slash dating a 40 year old behind my back, which is disgusting. She said, which is disgusting, but that I agree it's disgusting. You deserve better and so do I. Don't worry about the hate you get because you are 100% right. Bryce cheated on me compulsively. That's why I left him. If you guys have watched my channel, I have so many story times about Bryce and the things that he's put me through. He was one terrible boyfriend and people always ask me all the time, why did you stay with him for five years? Because I didn't find out about all of it until the third year or fourth year. And then like, I was like low key scared to leave because it was emotionally abusive. So I could do more videos about that if you guys want, because there's so many more stories about things that I've learned that I could help you guys with. But moral of the story, he did the same thing to her. We think it ends there, okay? We think it ends there. So then I got a message from Sasha the next day. Hey Gabs, it's Sasha from the concert last night. We talked about Bryce. I just wanted to say regardless what I sent on here, you are so genuine and sweet and it was a pleasure finally meeting you. And she, honestly, we that's when we like blossomed this DM relationship and she ended up coming to my Blood Queens meet and greet this year. So I'm so happy she continued staying a fan despite that we have both been with the same man. <laughs> Then Bryce texted me that, oh, I heard you ran into Sasha and I was being super short with him. After this conversation, I actually ended up blocking his number. No, it was the second time I went to the sweetener tour. Bryce saw that I was with Ariana Grande backstage and hanging out with her and he texted me asking if I could get Sasha to meet her. I guess he was just trying to get brownie points from screwing her over. But look at what he texted me the first time I went to the sweetener tour. I screenshotted the rest of the, the end of the conversation I don't have a screenshot from the beginning part of the conversation because I have a new phone. But I said, yeah, she told me you said that. And he goes, oh, that's pretty cool. She very much reminded me of you. I guess you're my type. What else did she tell you? And I said, she said you screwed her over. He said, yeah, she reacted kind of how you would to a girl I was texting. It was an overreaction, but still it sucked. These boys with their excuses. We weren't dating, but we're getting there. And it was a friend but we know you can't have other girlfriends when you're talking to someone. No shit. Honestly, when I was with Bryce, mo some guys are actually really like nice and can have friends that are girls. Like they're trustworthy, but they have to be good people. This man, Bryce, was not a good person. Based off of my stories I put on this channel, you guys, one plus one equals two. You know he doesn't equal a good person. So when I was with Bryce in high school, there was this girl and I put a video about it called, I can't believe I'm telling you guys this, and it goes through all the girls, I just give their initials, the girls that he was dating or with or screwing behind my back. But anyways, the number one girl or suspect was his best friend that wasn't me. Like I was his girlfriend, but he had a girl best friend and it wasn't me. Like I was just his girlfriend. This girl best friend like texted him 24 seven, had a contact picture, was always trying to FaceTime whenever him and I were hooking up. Like it was just so weird. And I always was sus. It turned out to be that girl that was like hooking up with him behind my back, like getting my sloppy seconds. So obviously this guy Bryce can't have a girl friend while seeing someone else. And according to Sasha, they were seeing each other for months. They had like pictures like couples take. Like if I was taking pictures and seeing a guy for months like that and a guy who was driving hours to see me like that, I would not expect him to be seeing another girl or have a girlfriend. I would consider us dating, you know? But now I have a theory that he was probably into these long distance relationships because he could probably like have his hometown hookup but be able to drive two hours to see these poor girls and they'd have no idea. Like that's disgusting, that's how you catch things. Like that's horrible. So after I posted the video, my boyfriend got me a pinata of my ex for my birthday. Sasha responded to my story and goes, you guys give no beeps, I love it. 
I think I'm seeing him in two weeks to rekindle, so we will see how that goes, dot, dot, dot. And when I read that, I knew she was under his spell, okay? If you guys want a part two to this video to find out what happens with Sasha and Bryce, that's it for part one of this story. If you guys want a part two to find out what happened with my ex Bryce and poor fancy baby Sasha, let me know in the comments down below because it gets wild, lies unravel. We can even FaceTime her in into part two. Let us know in the comments down below. If you guys want to go follow Sasha, here's her Instagram. She is freaking gorgeous and I love her so much. And yeah, that's it for this tea. If you guys are interested in more stories, about the things I have not brought to the internet let me know and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video